I did a little side project this week that I thought I'd share with you here on The Sourceman. I don't think it warrants a full length video, but I thought you might find it interesting, maybe a handful of you. I do the talking head component of the Stockpot videos, this bit, using a teleprompter. Mine uses a tablet as the screen and typically the text just sort of scrolls at a preset adjustable speed from the start of the script to the end. This works great, but sometimes the script will get ahead of me, I'll get ahead of the script, or I'll want to have another crack at a section. Usually this means walking over to the tablet on the teleprompter by the camera, scrolling up or down with my finger, then going back to my mark and continuing from where I left off. This doesn't seem like a lot of work, but it can really add up during a filming session and often breaks my train of thought or leads to more mistakes that I need to fix later or have another crack at. What I needed was a remote, but they're often in the form of like a handheld remote. And I'd rather not have to go into my pockets all the time while filming these things. So instead, I made this little guy. This is a 3D printed foot pedal with three momentary foot switches. You might recognize these if you're a guitarist like me. And it uses an ESP32 microcontroller. It's super simple inside. The buttons are just wired to a pin each and there's a little LiPo battery uh, left over from the Everything Remote project to power the whole thing. This connects to my tablet via Bluetooth and emulates a regular keyboard with just a handful of lines of code. My teleprompter software allows me to map these buttons to whatever I want and I've got it set up so short and long presses will result in different keys being sent. This means I can have it play and pause, fast forward, rewind, and then a quick tap will increase or decrease my scrolling speed. It's all in a little 3D printed PETG enclosure that I threw together in a couple of hours. The print's a little rough around the edges, but it works great, and for once, it might actually be cheaper than a bought one. Microcontroller's like four bucks. The buttons are like three bucks each. I've just used it for the first time on a shoot for an upcoming Stockpot video, and it's a game changer for my workflow. It speeds up the shoot hugely, and I'm really, really pleased with the result. If you're looking for an off-the-shelf version of something similar, musicians use Bluetooth foot pedals to turn the page of digital sheet music on iPads, so you might be able to find something intended for that. That was my backup plan. But I'll also put a blog post up on the Stockpot website with my code, and I'll upload the model to printables if you want to make one of these for yourself. That's all for now. Catch you next time.